Welcome to my Colorado road trip. My husband and I decided to drive from over here all the way over to here. And this is how it went. So this was our first stop in Colorado, which was Denver, and this was our hotel, and it was absolutely magnificent. We decided to finally have our delayed honeymoon after three years of marriage, so we drove all the way from North Carolina all the way to Colorado, and we decided that we wanted to break up our trip in multiple places, so we started off in Denver, and this is what it looked like. The first activity we decided to do when we got to Denver was to check out the armory. And so it was like this huge safari and you just drove through it and got to see a bunch of wildlife. There were deer and bison and prairie dogs and so many animals. It was just amazing and I highly recommend it. They're fat, bro. It's They're so, so fat. <laughs> The next thing we did was walk around this little market and they had so many cute stands with different knickknacks. There were glass ornaments and hot cocoa and all kinds of stuff and it was really nice. This city definitely knows how to do Christmas lights. There were so many different spots where there was like Christmas trees lit up and different places that just had spectacular lights and you'll definitely get to see those in these clips. The next morning we woke up and I legit felt like I was in a Hallmark movie. The snow was falling in the city and it was just a magical moment. I definitely was excited about this. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. So we were recommended to eat at a restaurant called Snooze in Union Station and we enjoyed the food so much and I enjoyed the beautiful area that the terminal had like the Christmas tree and just the design and layout of the architecture was beautiful. Christmas. 
this is when the fun really started to happen. So we went right outside of Denver to a place called Golden and we went to Lookout Mountain and we explored in the snow. And let me tell you, it was like a dream. I just could not even believe how much snow there was and it was breathtaking. in Denver and we're just now starting to feel the altitude it's been good up until this point but we woke up to snow this morning and oh it's a big difference we're up on a place called what is it called lookout mountain lookout mountain and you can definitely feel the the altitude change you can definitely feel the the pressure is a lot different up here than it is in North Carolina absolutely loves to go fly fishing so of course he found a spot to do just that he definitely could not pass up on an opportunity to fly fish in Colorado because we definitely don't have this at home it's just so peaceful look at this it's gorgeous it's actually not that cold either if you made it to this part of the video congratulations you made it to part two of our colorado trip which is estes park and this is where one of the most beautiful hikes that we've ever gone on happened are you ready baby all right let's go dehydrated okay okay 
What a view though, right? Such a beautiful view to have, a little snack. And it just keeps going forever, like I can't even fit it all in the frame. So crazy. And this is just a frozen lake. So now we are leaving Estes Park and we are going to Winter Park and we are going snowmobiling. This is our first time snowmobiling and I was nervous to say the least. Laying down. Oh. I'm, I'm trying. Oh. Yeah. oh. This is awesome. So, is all they do go fast? They don't do tricks or nothing? I don't know. finally made it to downtown Breckenridge. This is like our fourth spot that we've stopped at while in Colorado. We made it from Denver to Estes Park to Winter Park. Now we're in Breck and it is beautiful. Getting sized to go snowboarding. Look at me. Are you excited? Yeah. You got your board? Are you ready? Are you excited to go without me? <laughs> yeah, this pregnant lady is not going to be partaking in any slopes today. <laughs> You're such a cutie. <laughs> you want to now? On his way to the slopes, I'm pregnant, so my doctor advised that probably not the best thing for me to go skiing or snowboarding so this boy is about to oh he's having it on this boy is about to go snowboarding this is actually his first time snowboarding or skiing or any of that sort of thing so wish him luck take lots of videos <laughs> so we went up about 30 40 minutes from Breckenridge to Vail and it is the cutest town ever there's so many cute shops, places to eat, and ice skating rinks, and I 10 out of 10 recommend.
So we have reached the final stop of our Colorado trip, which was the Great Sand Dunes National Park. I think we're still like pretty high in elevation even though we went down south in Colorado. I can still definitely feel it in my breath. Well, that's about as far as we're gonna go. honestly in shock by how diverse the state of Colorado is like you have the sand dunes you have the plains you have the Rocky Mountains you have the snow there is just so much going on in Colorado so if you're really wanting to take a trip where you can experience very diverse atmospheres and different activities then I definitely say go to Colorado hands down one of the best trips that we've ever taken and yeah I hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for what I have coming next.